phrase. Would you like to bear one off, please? Close your eyes and lie your head. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this blessed day. Thank you for waking us up and bringing us here so we can learn more about you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. The story I want to talk to you about this morning is about faith. Faith. All of you know Jennifer, my wife? Okay. Everybody knows Jennifer? We have a cat named Bob. Now, Jennifer's never had animals before because she's always lived in an apartment in a big city. So when she first came to live with me, she thought the animals were annoying because they're not clean. But after a while, because she feeds them all the time, when she does her garden work and everything, the cats follow her around. She didn't understand this, but she goes to work in her garden, and they all sit there and they watch her. And then she gets up to the next one, they get over and they move and they watch her. Bob's black and white. He's just an average looking kitty. But Bob is the most affectionate of the cats we have. He, he loves Jennifer. He follows her around everywhere. A couple of months ago, and this is in particular about a verse that James said about when you ask God for something, believe that you're going to receive it. Don't be, don't doubt. When you pray for something, believe you're going to receive it. Uh, this is back right before Christmas. I came out to go to work. Jennifer's outside feeding the cats, and she says, oh, there's something wrong with Bob. I look, and I see Bob. And I know what's wrong with Bob because I've seen it before. Sometimes cats who live in the country will catch rats that have been eating in the barns from the farms around us, and the rats have been poisoned. So when the cat eats the rat, the cat gets poisoned. And I can tell by Bob's behavior that Bob's been poisoned. So I tell Jennifer, Bob's been poisoned. He's going to die. Now, Jennifer looks at me. She does amaze me. Without hesitation, Jennifer says, we need to pray for Bob. That's now, it wouldn't have occurred to me to pray for Bob. I'm sorry, Zal, and I'm ashamed to admit that. But Jennifer says, we need to pray for Bob. So I'm thinking, okay. So I pray for Bob. I get in the truck and I go to work. Now I'm thinking when I get home, because this happened to another cat last year, cricket, Bob's going to be dead. I'm going to have to bury Bob. Well, I get home from work. I don't see Bob anywhere when I get out of the truck. And usually he runs right up as soon as I get in the truck. And thinks I might bring him something to eat. I go in the house and say, Jennifer, where's Bob? Because I figured she's going to tell me. She's got him wrapped up in a towel and I have to Oh, Bob's outside. I said, is he okay? Well, yeah, Bob's fine. Praise God. Now, the reason I say that is, is because Jennifer really had had no connection with God before she met me. She'd never even been to church. And yet her faith is stronger than mine. Because she believed if we prayed for Bob, Bob would be fine. Bob was eating when I left this morning. Jennifer was outside feeding him. So when you pray, as the Bible says, have faith. Don't doubt that God's going to answer your prayer. Amen. Thank you for this day, thank you for everything you've done for us. Thank you for giving us a trip safely. Help us have a wonderful day. Amen. 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 Return your seats.